Hey guys, welcome back. Good to see you all again. So today we are going to make a very healthy flax seeds podi. Podi is a powder which is made by roasting lentils and spices together and grinding them to a coarser texture. This is usually served as a chutney or a side accompaniment with uh, South Indian breakfast dishes like idlis, dosas, uttapams. And flax seeds are loaded with nutrition. So this is one nice way of using them in our day-to-day -day diet. So shall we proceed to make flax seeds podi? Flax seeds podi. A flavorful chutney powder made with roasted flax seeds, lentils and spices. This podi can be used with your South Indian dishes as a chutney powder mixed with either ghee or sesame oil or you can sprinkle on your dosas while you are making them. You can also use it to flavor your curries. It's a versatile and healthy spice mix. We have taken half cup of flax seeds quarter cup of urad dal, two tablespoons of desiccated coconut, handful of curry leaves, these are dried curry leaves, two teaspoons of oil, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of jaggery powder, small piece of tamarind lemon sized and five red chilies. You can add more if you like. First, we are going to dry roast the flax seeds separately. Continuously stir them with a spatula. Keep adjusting the flame between medium and low. Stir until they start splattering. You can see now they have started jumping from the pan so you can remove them into the plate. The same way next we are going to roast the urad dal. These are split black lentils. Roast them until they are golden brown. Towards the end, add the cumin seeds and reduce the flame. You can lift the pan. In the heat itself, they get roasted. Remove these also into the same plate. Next, we are going to roast the curry leaves and the coconut. But if you are using fresh curry leaves, do not mix the two together. Roast the curry leaves separately and then the desiccated coconut. Because these are dried leaves, they can be done together. On low flame, saute them until they, the desiccated coconut becomes nice and golden brown. It will have a nice aroma, roasted aroma. This is done. Now remove them also. Now add 2 teaspoons of oil. This is to fry the chilies and the tamarind. Now on low flame, keep turning them, tossing them until the tamarind becomes soft and nice. Maintain low flame because otherwise the chilies will get black in color. Once it is done, you switch off the gas and leave it in the pan. The heat will make the tamarind softer. Let them cool well. Meanwhile, let's add the remaining ingredients to this. Add jaggery powder, salt, one teaspoon each and stir in this once they are cool enough. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli powder for color. This is optional. That's why I've not shown it in the ingredients. If you wish, you can add. Give it a nice stir. 
now we are going to grind this mixture transfer it into the grinding jar this podi is really very nice flax seeds are very beneficial for health is a nice way to consume flax seeds now grind them to a slightly coarser texture this podi can be used in many ways apart from serving with idlis and dosas you can also make use of it in the leftover rice make masala bhat add a little bit to the curries as well this is how the texture should be perfect little bit grainy not too fine now we'll remove this in a plate first remove all the lumps with a spoon and allow it to cool well before we store it in the bottle make and enjoy it with your idlis and dosas the way they serve it is you know either you sprinkle directly while making dosa on it or you mix it with melted ghee or sesame oil to serve on the side like a chutney it goes well with all the south indian breakfast items so give it a try i'm sure you're going to like it this healthy podi recipe earlier i have also shared another podi recipe which is curry leaf podi also a very healthy one do check it out i am sharing the link in the i button and description box so friends share the feedback when you make these podis and stay tuned for the next recipe take good care of yourself and happy cooking if you are a new visitor to the channel do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications about the new uploads here are some videos from the archives do check them out we'll soon be back with another new recipe bye until then have a nice day